Randy. A uh, quick demo video for you for your Corbant Starkiller. If I can get this to focus a little bit. Um, you had mentioned you hadn't seen very much weathering on the pictures that I had posted earlier, uh, or sorry, late last night. Um, so trying to show you what they did here, there is not a ton of weathering on here. Um, not very much on the pommel or the handle at all, just a little bit. You can see a little bit here. Um, they did do on the control box, um, a little bit around it, on, on the bunny ears a little bit, and then on the emitter piece. Uh, very light, light, light weathering. All right, and then they did some on the brass rod or on the rods as well. I don't think these are brass. I think they're aluminum. But that's what you got straight from Corbant from me. I did replace the crystal that they gave me that looked like it was like uh, injection molded or, or something. I put a real quartz crystal in there for you. So hopefully you like the way that that lights up. Um, you've got CC sabers in here for your lit NeoPixel connector. This is a two button setup. So your front switch here will be your activation. Your back will be your auxiliary. Um, and I also put motion controls on here for you. So this is the first time that I put motion controls on a CFX. Uh, so I read up a little bit on that this morning and got everything all handled for you. And I'll show you how that works. Also, I'm going to show you the chassis real quick and then we'll talk about your card. But anyway, to get to the chassis, you just want to unscrew the handle. This is early in the morning for me, so I might be uh, tripping over my words a little bit. All right, but this is what your chassis looks like. It does say Star Killer over here in Arabish. Um, you have a removable battery setup, right, a 28 millimeter Smuggles Outpost Elite speaker, and then of course your Profi board, or I'm sorry, not your Profi, your CFX board right here. So uh, easy access, as you can see, to your SD card and then also your micro USB as well. So I made sure you could get to both. Um, you could pop that out just like that with your finger, grab it, no problem. This has the stock font package on it, minus one font from my buddy Carter over at Blue Mamba. Um, he has a stalker sound font that I thought was really cool. It, it's a star killer font, so it's on here. Um, I'll make sure that he gets paid for that. I wanted to send it out with this saber, and that's what we'll be demoing. It's the first font on your card, and then the rest of them are the stock font package. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll throw a battery in this guy. Now I will destroy you, Skywalker, as I destroyed your father. This is the stalker font. Um, it's very cool. So once you get that in there, it snaps in very nice and tight in place. We'll put the handle on. The handle, everything does fit on here very snug. Uh, so just take your time, put it in, but it will go. All right. One thing I do not care for, and I heard Tim over at Tierfon mention it as well, and I tend to agree. The only thing holding this chassis in is a small stem piece that you can't see that fits into this piece right here. And then you have a chassis retention screw right in that hole right there. Um, the stem on this chassis is about as thick as maybe your thin neck right here. So you want to be very careful. It is all the way in there. It's locked down nice and tight. You shouldn't have any problems. Um, but typically I would like to have a little bit more meat on the chassis that's held into the saber. All right. So we'll go ahead and we'll throw this handle on, screw it down all the way. You can hit power like this. You got your crystal lighting up, very bright. LEDs in there firing up like they should. You can hold it off like that or you can twist it on. And twist it back off. Just like that. So one more time. Saber does need to be pointing up in order for you to do this correctly. All right, and then one more time. Just like that. We'll throw a blade in here. You've got two screws inside of your button or inside your bunny ears right here. Uh, the one screw that's closest to the emitter over here, that is your blade retention. All right, so we'll go ahead and back that out right now. You don't want to back the other one out um, because it holds the bunny ears in. All right. This takes a one inch diameter NeoPixel blade. So we'll put that in there, lock it down. Again, we'll use gestures. So of course your blaster bolt deflex is just tapping the auxiliary. 
The blade lockup is holding it down. Flash on flash. Hold auxiliary to go to your next sound font. Sound bank selection. We can uh, go up or down the menu with either button. Crystal focus. Crystal focus. Find one you like, hold the button down. Crystal focus. Now, if you want to change the color, So everything on here is working as it should. Um, we'll go over taking the battery out one time because it is pretty tight fit. And I'll go ahead and I'll lock this back down so it doesn't come loose on you. You do have a little bit of some extra parts that came with your saber, so I'll make sure that those get shipped back out to you as well. Uh, but when we're done, we'll just go ahead and take the handle off. Carefully slide it out. Now, you should be able to take the battery out from the positive side by the speaker. If you can't get it out with your finger, which sometimes I can't, I grab a tool like the back of my tweezers, like this, and just come in here, and pop it right out, just like that. All right, um, I made that to fit in there tight on purpose so it doesn't lose connection on you. Um, but that is basically your star killer. Uh, let me know if you got any questions, and if not, I will package this guy up and get it out in the mail to you on Monday. All right.